this is Paula from Alanda Craft and in this video I wanted to take you through the new Brother Canvas workspace. Now this is a software driven um, workspace as opposed to the online one you may be used to using to edit your FCM files and so forth. So this one you actually download to your computer but at the moment as far as I can tell it is only available for the PC so only for Windows computers. Um, I'm hoping they do a Mac version, I really do because I use a Mac but you can see at the moment the mat still looks the same Pretty much all your edit options are still in here, but they just moved around a bit. So let's just run through quickly. Um, at the top you see your file. You can see this is where you save, import and that sort of thing. Edit, so you've got a lot of edit tools here. Layer, that, now that is new and I'm going to go through that with you quickly later. Um, it is really good, I like it. Display, this is just zooming in, zooming out, hiding the mat and that sort of thing, showing how you want the mat to look on the screen there. And then you've got some help options. Okay, so over on this side, you can see here, this is where all your shapes and all those sort of things are, are now. So you, you click on that and it opens out. And you can see this is great. They've actually put all this, the shapes into sections now. So you've got all the squares together, rectangles, polygons, and so forth. So they're all there. So as always, you just click on one and it puts it over on the mat here. I'll put two there. I'll just delete that. You've also got your borders and also words like you did before, that's still all there. So I can close that up. Now the text option is slightly different here because what you can do now is use any font on your computer, which is awesome. So if you've been using the type converter tool, you don't have to use that anymore. You can just come straight into here and, and type straight into here. So if I click on the text option, you see up here, you get a new option up here. If I click the drop down, you can see these are all the ones on my computer here. So I just click on one and I can click there and just type in. So I've got any text I want now, which is awesome. Okay, oops, I'm just going to make that a little bigger. Oops, just having trouble there, grasping that, there we go. Okay, so we've also got the SVG option. So that's just for importing SVG files and also the FSIM files that you want to work on. Um, this one here is an image tracing function. So if you click on that, you can just import an image. So you click on it and you can import an image from your from your computer. Okay, so I don't really have anything on here. Something like that. And open. And it will process it through. So that's that option. Same thing again. Now I am getting an error message whenever I try to do this. I haven't been able to use this properly. I'm assuming it's just an issue with the software. It's, it's new, so there might be bugs. Could be the version of Windows I'm using. I'm using an old Windows 7, so who knows. But at the moment, I can't get that to work. So, but you can see here, you've pretty much got the same sort of options. You can crop the size, trace outlines, um, trace by color and so forth. So slightly different, but, but basically the same there. Okay, I'll just close out of that. Down here, we've got the path options. So this is for drawing things. When you click on that, you can just draw triangle like that sort of thing. Not sure why I'm getting a curve there, but there you go. All right, um, this is a freehand path, so you can just draw um, basic, you know, drawings like that, depending on the smoothness of your mouse. And if you maybe if you're on an iPad, you might be able to use a pencil to draw better, but um, I've never really used that function anyway, so I'll just delete that. Okay, so over on this side, what we've got is these are really all your edit functions, and they're over here now instead of up the top, which is really really good it's a much better system so looking a bit like um more like the silhouette if you've used the silhouette studio sort of software for the cameo um very similar so i'm hoping they'll start introducing more and more functions here that the silhouette has because silhouette is i think a little bit more advanced than anything the scan and cut has had in the past so i'm hoping now that it's software based they'll be able to introduce more options Okay, so all I need to do is just say click on an image here and you can see you get different options. You can cut or draw depending on what you want to do there. Fill options, so I can fill by color. Now this is new, there's much more colors now to choose from. Remember that the colors make no difference in terms of cutting. You know, you're not, you're not coloring anything to cut that, to make that color. It's really just on the, on the mat here as a visual thing to, to help you when you're designing. So I can click on that click on this one here and so forth and choose my colors. So really, really good. Um, and here, this I think this is new. This to me, the width of the line here, I don't remember seeing that in the, in the, in the online version. So you can thicken the line there. I could be wrong. Um, dash pattern is still here. So you can, you know, create a dash line around things um, as you could with the other version. So that's good. 
um, text when you click on the font here you can see you can actually change the font now so I could click on here and, and change it to whatever's on my computer again um, style depending on the font you've chosen you'll get different options here and character spacing so that's to make it just space out the text and then bring it back in so if you wanted to weld you just click on that to bring it all the way back in and you could potentially weld that now okay so look, that's the first option here if I click on this edit option you can see here this is position and size so if I click on something it just moves it along so you can nudge it along to different areas and same with width and height change width height that sort of thing um, this resize is just to resize by a percentage rather than by inches or millimeters or whatever okay transfer that's just to rotate like that and then you can flip so all these things are basically from the previous version just over on this side which to me is a lot better it's a a lot more intuitive having it all over here and in one section instead of having to click drop downs and that sort of thing so really quite like that you've got your align tools here when you select two or more you can align things center and all that line to the right and and same with your process overlaps these are all your welding tools your subtracting tools um, if we wanted to weld highlight the two we can weld those two together like that so so we do that so um, what else have we got the offset tool is here now I'm really pleased that they've actually fixed this because in the online version you couldn't create a quarter inch border so the offset tool is like you can add a, a seam line if you want a, a, a border on anything but for quilters you know you could only ever see how when you click on this it's only going to 24 now on the online version you couldn't change that but on here I can actually delete and go 25 and have a quarter inch so that's really great that okay what else have we got this is the new layers function over on the side here so if I click on that you can see this is this I really like if you've used Photoshop you'll know you'll understand what this is all about but basically it's the different parts on the screen here so there's the shape there this is the I know you can see I can actually change the wording in there so I can type in whatever I like to any of those but the triangle is showing as being on the top so what that means is if I hold it over everything you can see it's actually layered over everything I can actually move that if I went to somewhere else I can move it to there and then that would be now under the text like that but it would still be over the shape like that now that comes in handy when you're doing things like welding and that sort of thing subtracting because sometimes one layer has to be over the other and not behind it um, you can also see here you can change the option to cut or draw the um, whether you want it to just draw when you're putting it through your machine or cut and you can also hide it from the screen so if I just want to work on the text for a minute um, I can do that I can just work on the text by hiding everything else bring them back and I can also lock things so if I want something specifically on the screen and not move it because sometimes you might accidentally move it I can lock it so if I click there you can see I can't move that triangle anymore so the triangle stays fixed but I can move these other ones around okay so the next section here is the artboard and this is basically um, just major changes to the screen really so you've got a 12 by 12 mat we're working with now I can change that to a 12 by 24 if I want um, I can add a ruler you can see there along the top and I can also change it to millimeters if I want or stick to inches I've also got view options here like I can stop the mat from showing I don't have to show the grid and I can also um, increase the grid spacing here if I want you can see how the grid here gets bigger or smaller now there's one thing here the snap to grid I really love this is new I'm just going to zoom in on the screen just so you can see how this works snap to grid so if I click on that all right what I'm going to do first is hide everything on the screen back to that okay so what I'm going to do is just show you how the snap to grid works so I'm going to choose a shape first of all so I'm just going to choose a square okay now when I have snap to grid off which is the default you can see I can move it around and I can line it up anywhere it's it's in the middle of these grid shapes see there's a grid there but I can move it so that it's in the middle of that grid and so forth now if I put snap to grid on and I move this around you watch what happens it actually when I move it it's only going to move to the next possible grid I can't move it halfway in the middle so it's snapping right to a grid if I take that off I'm just going to delete that and I'll show you what else you can do here if I come down to the path tool click on that 
Now if I wanted, if I, I've got snap to grid off at the moment, so if I draw a triangle, if I click there, there, there and there, that's not too bad, okay? It's not a, not a bad triangle, but it's not perfect. You can see it's actually running crooked here. So there's that one. If I put snap to grid on and come back to the path tool, now if I try it and click there, now you, you see how this it's following me, but it's only going to each grid. See that? If I move it down, it's going to the next point of the grid. So I can make a perfect triangle. Look at that, it just comes out absolutely perfect. So that is awesome. I love that snap to grid option. So just before I finish up, I just wanted to go through just a few things that are missing, as far as I can tell so far anyway. Um, you can't access the projects, you know, the, those projects that Brother provide, um, those free ones, the little cards and all those sort of little projects you can create in there, they're, they're not accessible on here. Anything like if you've done an upgrade, like bought a pattern collection or um, bought the rhinestone kit or anything like that, none of that is available on here. Also, you can't save to the cloud, like on this online one, you could save into their system so it was stored sort of in a cloud. Um, now you, you just save to your computer. So you're saving projects to your computer. They're saved in a specific format and you can open them up um, just by um, accessing them from your computer. But um, otherwise, the this is great. I'm loving it. I'm hoping they go further with this and start adding a few more features and different things like that. Just it works a lot easier. The online system was getting really buggy. Um, th I was moving things on the screen. They just move of their own accord and do all sorts of things. So um, I'm hoping this is more stable. Seems to be so far. I'm liking it. So um, give it a go. I'll give you the download link below this video and let us know how it goes. Um, we will be creating a training course on it as we do. Um, just check out our training course. We're at alandaonline.com is our training academy and you'll be able to see all our training courses for the scan and cut if you need help there. But otherwise, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got tons of scan and cut videos for free on here. So thanks for watching.